Good Hello. morning. Hello. We are here today, a return visit to Sycamore Lake, Borough of Marsh. Um, yeah, today we've, uh, we're fishing the Specimen Lake, uh, which is uh, home to some large carp, I understand, Declan. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the uh, the bailiff came around and had a word with us, um, and we, yeah, we're on the Specimen Lake today. Uh, last time we fished the Island Lake, which is the next lake along. We had a good um, day there, didn't we, Declan? Yeah, yeah we had we, um, Got yeah. quite a few out. You had Golden North and Dow. And... Three double figures, yeah. And I think I've got a Bream as well, didn't we? Did we got a Bream? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had a Bream out, yeah. yeah. But, um, but yeah, so this lake, it's, uh, it's quite a large lake. It's quite a large open lake. Um, and it's they said that it's about five to six foot deep um and it's got like a level clay bottom which is uh, which is quite quite good really for any kind of rigs or setups no really, as much yeah, yeah not very uh, not very weedy and everything so it's it's it should work in our favor in that sense um especially the way that we tend to fish um but yeah, we're going to try different things out. Um, we're going to try different methods, um, and yeah, hope for a good day. I mean, it, it gives a little bit of rain later on, but yeah, we have uh, we have put the bivvies up today. Yeah, we have given the rain out. The weather's not bad. It's overcast at the moment. It's not too cold. It's not bad conditions at the minute. But, mm. but if it changes, then. Yeah, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll just work it, you know. We're prepared for it. <laughs> That's the main thing. That is the main thing. So, let's see how we do. Right, well, I've got one rod set up. Uh, I'm just uh, going to cast one out for, first. I'm going to uh, set me uh, other rod up uh, pretty soon. I've got some uh, other ideas. Let me rig for the other one, but uh, on rod one, uh, this is uh, this is what I'm starting with. So here we are today. Again, very simple, basic cart rig. The uh, quarter safety tubing, lead clip system. Again, four ounce lead, like a helicopter rig. Down to braided hook link on a hair rig with a little bait stop underneath, and I'm using today. Um, rod one we first bait is a pineapple flavoured boiler so uh, as you can see a little bait stop there keeps it secure I'm on a six pound, uh, size six hook and um, yeah it's coconut flavoured uh, boilers so uh, yeah I'm gonna cast this baby out so uh, yeah I'll just uh, show you a quick uh, look at the lake As you can see, lovely venue. You can see Dex just sorting his rigs out. And uh, hopefully, we're successful. We're looking forward to a good day. I say it's, I bet it's a challenge this late. So uh, we enjoy a challenge. So um, we're gonna cast this out, get it baited up, and um, we'll see what prevails. Yeah, I've just set my other rig up and now on uh, my rod two, I uh, I'd get it wrong when I mentioned before that I was using a pineapple, it was coconut on the rod one, I'm using a pineapple pop up on rod two, um, uh, I've just cast out, I'll just show you the uh, the pop ups I'm using, there they are, these are the pop ups, all different sizes, different mills, as you can see, but uh, yeah, these these type I'm using. I'm a on a quarter quarter rig, and uh, as you can see, these other ones on rod one, the uh, coconut. I say so these aren't pop ups, so uh, but these ones are. So uh, yeah, I like to mix and match. Keep trying other techniques. 
Uh, I was going to mix some ground bait up this morning to run the cage feeder, but I'm not sure yet. I've, uh, you know, keep changing my plans. But I've got some of these as well, these pineapple and banana boilies. So that's my main, uh, that's my main bait for today. Is in boilies and just casting out, you know, micro pellets into my swim. I've got one rod, I'd say at a 45 degree, uh, two, two and a half rod lengths out, maybe, maybe three and the same straight down the line in the centre. Uh, our most deepest part of the lake in the centre, so uh, yeah, about three, four rod lengths out on that one with me, uh, me lead clip again. Uh, I've gone for a five ounce lead weight on that one. So yeah, just try different techniques and uh, you know, I'm used to using my carp stalker rods. I'm using both 12 foot rods today. I was gonna use my carp stalker, but I changed my mind. So um, yeah, I mean, I'm in that mood today. I keep mixing and matching, but I'm gonna stay with the, stay with the pop-up and, uh, and the coconut boil for now. Uh, I've not had a bite, definitely not a take about half an hour ago and uh, no it wasn't on but uh, it's a start like I said we've been fishing about an hour and a half now I've not even had a bite it is really cold that won't be helping as well as you can see I've got the other one in my bivvy and uh, it was, if it warmed up a little bit then maybe you know it, uh, it changed me to my chances but fingers crossed I'm gonna keep uh, just keep keep trying what I'm, you know what I normally do. But like I say, it's a challenge. We like a challenge. It's nice to be out on the bank again. It's a second uh, outing this year on the lake, and um, yeah. So I'm gonna keep at it, and uh, we'll see you soon. Stevie Boy has joined us on the bank, and he's just landed this little beauty, Ooh, he and he's gone. <laughs> Oh, still roach that, eh? Oh, still roach. On the bread, I believe, Steve. Oh, yes. The old bread bombs out there. Relining. Relining. Steve joined us, he's off the mark. And uh, I've just had a couple of bites. I've got two rods out now. That's uh, one directly halfway out, and the other one into my left, the centre. Five rod links out. So Declan to my right as well, still awaiting. I say we're going for the uh, larger carp, larger fish. So uh, yeah, I've just changed. I've took one of my boilers off this right and rod and put a pellet, micro uh, double it on my yeah halibut pellet uh, rig with a fake piece of sweet corn just for the colour in to attract the fish so uh, yeah I've had a few bites on it so uh, yeah we'll continue it looks like Stevie boy is into a fish drop back really big drop back yeah As you see, Steve is in. So, and that was on Steve Bread. No, uh, no, this one, Bobby. This was on the uh, new CT Moore um, stem liver. Oh, very oh, good. Stem. Very good. Really stinky. Alright, we'll be straight back. So, bagging machine, Steve. As just caught a beauty. Get the other alarms clicking now, but we'll get straight back once we've uh, we've weighed this boy. It's a beautiful mirror carp. So you're just resting the fish in the water. Let it catch its breath. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah put up a bit of a scrap, didn't it, Steve? It did, didn't it, mate? It didn't want to come off. He's just putting it in the sling now, we're all ready to wait. Get on, Steve. And it's yeah, came out. We called that, didn't we? 12. 12. 12. Uh, Declan said 12, 12, 12, 12 yet. Yeah. We called it, didn't we? We yeah, called it. Definitely. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, good man. Well done, Steve. Right, some nice colours on it. Yeah. Nice scales. Let's get that over there. Yeah. Let's get it over and we'll uh, we'll take a quick glimpse. Yeah, uh, twelve pound, just over twelve, weren't it, Steve? Over, yeah, literally. Oh, that's a beautiful, fully scaled mirror. There's one of the day for Steve. Oh, oh, yeah. We've got another lively one. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Come on, don't be camera shy. It's me that's camera shy, not you. There we go. <laughs> that's perfect, Steve. Smashing. Well done, Steve. Cheers, mate. Now Steve's off the mark. Beautiful. So we return this one and we'll get back to us pegs and see what more we can catch. <laughs> cage feeder now which I mixed some ground bait up earlier and as you can see it's got some lunchy meat it's with some pellets added some water to it it's this from, uh, from dynamite it's carp ground bait mix so uh, yeah set it to an open-ended cage feeder because I'm not having much luck on the boiler so I'm gonna have Add some of this to the mix and uh, let's see what happens. So Matthew is again to How does it feel me old? Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So this is Matt's car. What we're sitting at? Nine one. Nine one. Ah, we'll take that any day. Yeah, he's a lovely one, isn't he? What are you doing with these man? That's what does it, isn't it? Wonderful. So it's coming up to about two o'clock now. Uh, Matt's had a carp uh, at nine pound and one. Uh, Steve has caught a twelve pound two. 
and I'm yet to catch. Um, I have had a couple of takes, and when I say takes, I mean good takes, but uh, the hook hasn't landed in its mouth, to be fair. To. So they've taken the bait right, but that's probably the extent. So, just to let you know what I'm doing. Um, I'm ledgering, so I've got lead weight and hook link, basically. Um, and I am fishing kind of center screen now, here, with my left hand rod, and with my right hand rod, I'm down in the margin up here. So, yeah, so probably around here. And about here. Um, so, yeah, I'm still using my PVA bags and that, and um, my pop ups. Um, oh, noise. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. It's still early days, I guess, but uh, fingers crossed I make it the trio of the day which will be great um, but yeah let's see what we can do I was just reeling in and this baby <laughs> just took the bait as I was reeling in it is a lovely it's a rod yep a nice rod that was a roach at first but obviously the colour in the bottom lip but yeah so uh, oh well I want some a little bit more bigger <laughs> And Matthew is into a fish. How's it feel, Matthew? Yeah. It was like it was toying. It was like little slight beeps of the alarm and then all of a sudden it just shot off it's a tench it's a good size tench that what is your pb tench that's a good size tench that That was like my first fish, wasn't it? A tench? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mill road. Mill road, yeah. Aye. Oh, Very good. Alright, so they're just unhooking the, um, the tench that Matt's just caught. And, yeah. Yeah. Soon shot off, and it was uh, brilliant. What oh, was it? Smack in the middle of the mouth, did you say? Yeah. Lovely little tent. Well, I say little, it's, it's a bloody big tent. 5 4. 5 4 tent. Oh, he's doing backflips. <laughs> yeah, very nice, that. Yeah, mate, I like that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful that fish, that. Beautiful. Wicked. Oh, wow, that one. Oh, wow. This is turning into a multi-species. Yeah, yeah isn't it? <laughs> so what we've had now, then? We've had Rudd. We had perch. Roach. Oh no, roach. Uh, sorry, roach. Um, tench. Yep, carp. Mirror carp. carp. Yep. Was was yours a mirror carp, Matt? Common. A common. Yeah, if we're doing a species. Yeah, doing a species. It's my turn next. Come on. Come on. But no, wicked. Lovely fish. Nice little change that as well. Very good. Well done, Matthew. So, another PV. PV tench. 
it's not all about the carp. It's not all about the carp. What a beautiful fish. Lovely. So here's the rig. I'm using what I caught that fish on earlier and that uh, little rod <laughs> what I took. It's a marine halibut pellet, 8 mil, with a false piece of sweet comb to a bait stop on a hair rig. So, uh, yeah, successful. So, uh, plenty of bites with it. One catch, two catches. <laughs> so, we'll continue. This bagging machine. He's caught a tree. Come off. Come off. Yes, yeah, head straight down there, come off. Oh, oh well, at least you caught some of Stevie. Right. Does it all? Yeah, it does. So, uh, yeah, we're going to carry on for another hour or so and. Uh, that almost came off the pod. Mm. It was so violent. They've been uh, caught. Yay! He's <laughs> got the rod. The rod. It's a lovely rod though, Dick. Yeah. Right. It's yeah, it's a few in here, nice colouring. They always tell it like the rod, like we mentioned, with the bottom lip sticks up. A bit like a roach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let's take a. For Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to crack on for a bit longer. Yeah, it's gone, uh, gone pretty quiet at the moment. But yeah, we've all bagged. It's not been easy. The temperature is really dropping. It's making it really hard. Um, but yeah, I've uh, I've baited with boilies, pop-ups, uh, halibut pellets. I'm even trying lunching meat now. Declan just cast out. Oh. Some really mass wind there. <laughs> yep. But yeah. I'll say I'm gonna start dismantling this stuff in a bit. I'm gonna pull one rod in, keep keep one rod out. You never know. So uh, carry on till the end. <laughs> So that concluded our fishing trip to Sycamore Lakes. Um, do apologise, the audio kind of cut in and out at this point and it wasn't really salvageable. Um, we had a really good day. Um, so Matt caught a uh, rudd, a um, little perch and a tench, I believe. And Steve caught a uh, carp and something else. Yeah, a little rod. Uh, Matt also caught a carp as well. I forgot to mention, sorry. And I caught a little rod as well. So overall, it was a really good day. Everyone was really nice to us. Um, so that's including the bailiffs and all of the staff that work at Sycamore Lakes. So we were very appreciative of that. Um, and yeah, it was just a lovely, lovely venue. Really, really lovely venue. And we will be returning. Um, and we are after the big fish. So any tips, any ideas, let us know. But yes, we will be returning for definite. And again, yeah, sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, but yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll try and sort that out the best I can for the future. So yeah, thanks again for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share uh, this video if you like it. Uh, it helps us out a massive amount and it gets the name out there and helps build the fishing community. 
and you know allows people to come together and share ideas and everything so don't forget to do that okay thank you very much and catch us again for one more catch bye bye